Giles Corin has been attacked on social media after appearing to mock the death of a follower who had said vile things about his family. Giles Corin has removed two tweets from his Twitter page, in which he appeared to mock the death of someone. The BBC presenter has since found himself at the center of outrage after his sick posts. Presenter Giles, 51, claimed the Twitter user had said vile and hurtful things about his relatives before unleashing his reaction. The Times radio presenter later removed his initial post before hitting publish on another tweet in view of his 224,300 followers. Several users took his posts to be about the death of fellow journalist, Don Foster, who died suddenly on July 15, aged just 33. Don passed away after a long-term illness, confirmed those close to her. In a now-deleted tweet, Giles wrote, When someone dies who has trolled you on Twitter, saying vile and hurtful things about you and your family. Is it okay to be like, I am sorry for the people who love you, and any human death diminishes me, but can you f asterisk 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 off onto hell now where you belong? Giles' letter went on to add, when someone dies who has trolled you on Twitter, saying vile and hurtful things about you and your family, is it okay to be like, I am sorry for the people who love you, and any human death diminishes me, but ha 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 ha. A screenshot of his deleted post is shared by journalist Ash Sarkar. She added, Don Foster once said Giles Corin had a famous dad, and he never forgave her for it. No wonder it rattled him so much, a working-class journalist, who had to fight for every scrap she got, called out the third best Corin. Carl Kinsella later tweeted, I've tried to just log off and ignore it but Giles Corin openly laughing about the death of Don Foster has honestly put me through the wall. He won't even lose his job for it, and in a just world he would lose an awful lot more than that. Dot. While Sayama's O'Reilly said, so glad that rampant cancel culture is definitely actually a real thing that exists, because it means we can all look forward to Giles Corrin suffering even one tiny consequence for gleefully rejoicing in Don Foster's death. Sky's political correspondent Cade McCann shared her thoughts, adding, I tend not to wade into arguments on here, we all have better things to do, and I didn't know Don Foster, but some things are just too awful to say out loud. I don't believe in drowning out opinions I don't like but I don't think we should let bad things go either. It wasn't okay.